Hi, good morning to this new video. Today, we are taking one of my projects for its MOT after it's been off the road for at least two years. Um, I've decided to get it back on the road because I want to get back into driving them again and enjoying the cars and they, sh they should be enjoyed. We're not just left in the garage as uh, like garage queens as I call them. So um, I hope you enjoy this video. I will try and record what I can at the MOT station if they will let me. If not, I'll just grab a few pictures of it in the, in the, in the garage. Um, as I say, I'll do what I can and uh, yeah, hope you enjoy this video. to the test station she drives a little bit lumpy but i think the car mixture screw just needs to be uh winding a little wind, winded in a little bit but um so far so good and uh hopefully we're gonna pass let you know soon okay i wasn't allowed to record in the mot station but i did manage to get a few uh pictures of the car while it was in so i'll load i'll put them on and you can just see that. Well, good news, chaps. She's passed her MOT with no advisories. However, she is running a little bit rough, just off first gear. But after that, once she's in second and third, she boosts up okay. She's, yeah, it revs up fine. Um, but it just seems to be when you pull away in first gear, she wants to die a little bit. So I'm going to check out the electrics, the plugs and the leads, cap rotor, and just make sure everything's all right and replace what effectively needs replacing. Um, but it could just be fuel because she has been off the road for two years. So... I may give her another run later on in the week. Yeah, it's a little bit lumpy. It could just be the fuel and it just wants a good blast. But um, all in all, a successful morning. We have a pass certificate. Right, I'm going to add a quick video of the walk around of the car after the MOT. Just so you guys can... Uh, get a better look out of it. It's MG Maestro Turbo, one of the 505 built. 47,000 on it, I believe. British Racing Green. Had the wheels refurbished and a new set of tyres in the last year or so. But she's in a very nice condition. Lift the bonnet up for you guys, just to show you that. All looks original. It's got a gold seal engine because apparently when it was new, it had a porous block. So MG Rover or Rover at the time, Austin Rover, changed the engine under warranty when the car was new. So the car, the engine's probably done 40,000 or so. But I'll show you the, the inside. It's got a seat cover on, but 
it is. Oh, needing a clean by the looks of things. It's got 47,000, but it is all original. Roof lining is just starting to go in that back corner. So I need to do something with that. That's potentially a, a new video. But uh, yeah, all in all, pretty nice. Thanks very much for watching. If you like and uh, want to see more content on my modern classics, do like, share and subscribe. Um, yeah, please subscribe guys, because it does help me out. Um, yeah, hit the bell icon and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.